there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these wonderful goodies for Mudra Craft stamps. I'm using the beautiful Wild Rose stamp set today for my triple time stamping card, a great technique that is the challenge this month over at Mudra. And I've decided to make a heart shaped card for my triple time stamping. So I'm just lining up all the little B die cut or heart dies there so that I can die cut uh, the basic shape for my card and they're the three dies that I used and now I can position them all together with some repositionable tape in my misty there so that I can stamp all the wild rose images inside just getting them lined up and nice and flat and then all over with my embossing buddy so that there won't be too many stray bits of embossing powder. Lining up my little acetate grid mat there. Uh, a bit crooked it looks but that's because my heart is sitting in my misty crooked and just lining up my sentiment using the grid lines there so that it will be nice and straight in the middle of that smallest heart. Inking up with Versamark ink so that I can do my gold heat embossing and using classic gold embossing powder from Nouveau sprinkling it on, flicking it off and I grab a little fine paintbrush just to flick away any stray bits heating it with my heat gun and melting all the powder and then moving on and arranging all of the images from that beautiful Wild Rose stamp set all around my hearts until I've completely covered the image and everything is gold heat embossed. see the end result my three hearts all covered with the beautiful wild rose images and I have in my stash this gold cardstock so I'm going to mat each layer with that so to get a heart that's just a little bit larger than the layers that I've stamped on I'm going to trace around the outside of the original die cuts I used carefully hand cut those and that will make a match that's just that little bit larger than the original die cut piece and then it's just a matter of adhering those two together using my tape runner there and I do the same for the middle sized heart using my tape runner to adhere that down and then the smaller heart the top layer I'm going to use those foam circles that you see there and I'll just add those and that gives that middle layer just a nice little bit of dimension in the centre. Now it's just a matter of making the back of my card so I am tracing around the heart shape and then I've grabbed out my score pal and I'm going to score a line about two centimeters down from the top of my card, fold it and I'll add my adhesive up the top there and then I have my completed card. As I looked at it I thought it just needed a little pop of color so you'll see I add some uh, Kaisercraft pearls and my card is finished. Mm -hmm. 